Today I am talking to you about this fab new book by Cheryl Drabble, who uh, I know mainly from Twitter, <laughs> I'll link to her below, um, who wrote all about getting a school dog. So um, Cheryl is an assistant head teacher in Blackpool. They're a special school and let's just say they had some fun and games, so they thought they'd write all about it for other schools who were thinking of doing something similar. So I would recommend this book if you like dogs. <laughs> it's got cute pictures in it and um, Doodles is just adorable and quite naughty, so it's quite good fun. So it's good fun if you just like dogs. Um, but also if you are a school, obviously, who are thinking about introducing a dog to your school, then it goes through quite a lot of the kind of practical side of that and what you should and shouldn't do um, and some of the things to bear in mind. So I'll give you a little bit of an overview now. So we'll look first at the contents so you can see what to expect. So um, I'll show you that here. Um, so you can kind of see that it works through, you know, they, they, the kind of research that they did and then when they got the puppy and then the practicalities and the yada, 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 yada. Basically though, look at number 12, mischievous doodles. This is the best chapter. Like if you just read one chapter of this book, you have to read about mischievous doodles. It's adorable. So um, yeah, I'll give you an example. This is doodles at Christmas time. This dog honestly sounds hilarious. Christmas pe presents posed a real problem for doodles. He absolutely loved presents. Class teachers had meticulously wrapped up presents for under the tree for the children in their classes. Doodles wasn't above opening them if he wasn't kept on a very short lead. He didn't stop there either. Just to add insult to injury, he would have the paper off before I noticed he had got the present and would be playing with the toy right in front of the class teacher and the children. Ah, doodles! He's so naughty. So, but, but, um, yeah, so there's the funny side of it, but then actually there's lots and lots around the practicalities of, of why you might get a dog. Um, and I really liked the, the case studies in the book. So um, Cheryl like really clearly outlines the big impact that doodles had on like some specific children. Uh, so one of the kids who uh, Doodles has had a significant impact on was Mason um, and I'll put the full case study here so you can read it but essentially Mason is a kid who um, is in a wheelchair and um, kind of would prefer sometimes to be pushed around rather than be independent and the school always try and encourage him to be independent and to take the long route around school um, in order to kind of build up his strength and maintain his independence um, and he used to be quite reluctant to do that however now that he knows that he'll get to see doodles on the way because he'll go past the head teacher's office then there's no encouragement needed he's super keen to see doodles and so suddenly he's doing lots more independent uh, self-propelling in his wheelchair so you see like yeah a big difference that uh, the dog made makes to him in his daily kind of routine just by motivating him to do things slightly differently. Another highlight to give you a kind of feel for the book. So this isn't like the practicalities chapter, which isn't like the most exciting, but it is possibly the bit that, you know, if you're trying to get your senior leadership team or your governors on board, you need to have all this stuff sorted. So um, here we're thinking about things like risk assessments. You've got to have a risk assessment in place covering hazards arising from having a dog in school. For example, the hazards could include dog feces, poop uh, and wee um, causing illnesses or falls um, and the precautions would clean would be cleaning up any dog mess immediately etc 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 so it kind of talks through like the granular detail of what you need to think about uh, before you would have your dog uh, in school it's both kind of a fun book um, that also kind of is a really touching story about the journey of this school um, Cheryl and the kids and doodles together um, and the difference that it made uh, to the children and the staff as well having doodles in school um, but it's also super practical so if you're looking to, to bring a dog in then it would be a really good port of call. Um, what are my three favourite things about this book? I always like to have a top three so number one um, I, I just doodles is cute like I love dogs as you know my dog's often in my videos at the moment he's sulking in the shed because it's warmer in there but I like being outside um, but anyway yeah so I love the pictures of doodles um, and just the fact it's about dog yeah so that um number two um i like the fact that it's really honest so you feel like you get a kind of genuine sort of warts and all idea about what it would be like to have a dog in school rather than just a sort of oh look how wonderful we are look what we did this feels like really genuinely honest and yeah you'd be going in with your eyes open if you'd read this before getting a school dog i think and then yeah finally i just think it's a really practical and realistic starting point if you wanted to get a school dog so um people often ask me about it um 
and I've never really known what to recommend and now I do so I like it from that point of view I wouldn't hesitate to re recommend it to any school thinking about getting a school dog um, but equally if this is a journey that you're thinking of embarking on I would definitely follow uh, Cheryl on Twitter and tweet her because she will respond and she'll talk to you about what's currently going on with doodles um, and that kind of thing so yeah drop her a line if you want to know more but yeah great book really enjoyed it would recommend uh, yeah enjoy I uh, hope it was helpful do leave a comment below if there are specific uh, books or resources that you would like me to review in future videos um, and tune in every Tuesday and Friday for new videos and please subscribe thank you bye